So, USC is in the Rose Bowl. There's no surprise there, even though this is the first ever Rose Bowl game between USC and Illinois. It's SC's record 32nd appearance in the granddaddy of them all, a game that the Trojans have owned with a 22-9 record, 22 wins representing the most of any college in any bowl game in the country. And it leaves only Iowa and Minnesota as teams USC has not met in this game. And only the Golden Gophers as a Big Ten team the Trojans have never met in postseason play. The 66th Rose Bowl in 1980 celebrated the 1979 USC Trojans and Ohio State Buckeyes. And on the play-by-play, -play, you'll hear from Dick Enberg calling his first ever Rose Bowl alongside former Rams great Merlin Olson. With the usual fanfare of the Tournament of Roses, the Queen and her court were introduced to the crowd, along with Old Blue Eyes, Frank Sinatra, who served as Grand Marshal for the Rose Parade earlier that day. The Buckeyes were led by a young gunslinger named Arch Schleister. It's Ohio State's all-time passer. We'll let the Trojans leader introduce himself. Nice haircut. Touchdown throws. Hi, I'd like to welcome everybody to the 1980 Rose Bowl. I'm Paul McDonald, the senior quarterback for the Trojans from Covina, California. And I'd like to wish everyone a happy new year and introduce the rest of the seniors from this year's squad. This man won nearly every player of the year honors in the country. Two-time unanimous All-American, second best rusher in college football history, the 79 Heisman winner. Charles White, tailback, senior from San Fernando, California. One of the biggest players in USC history, 6'7 and 280. Although sidelined all year, keep an eye out for number 77. He starts today. And Anthony Munoz, senior offensive tackle from Tijuana, Mexico. Oh, yeah. The Buckeyes had a young buck assistant coach who, along with wife Glenna, had just given birth to their infant son, Brennan. Pete Carroll was in his second year as a paid assistant coach under Earl Bruce. You know, California kid coming back to the Rose Bowl for the first time, it was really, really big. And we had such a good team, you know, we were so loaded up with guys, Arch Schleister and all the wonderful kids we had on our team. So we were pumped up about playing anybody. And we, we, we had a fantastic game. They had, they were loaded with players too. Or I'll never forget coming on the field and seeing those guys, those offensive linemen come, you know, you know, charging out together you know, in warm-ups before the game. Oh my gosh, they just looked so, so right. You know, they were big and strong and good. And they had a fantastic team. Ohio State delayed their entrance to the field by about five minutes. That irked some Trojans and the chairman of the board who had to wait for the flip of the coin. But it finally got going under perfect weather conditions. Not so perfect as McDonald gets picked by Ray Ellis. For Williams, almost intercepted it was, intercepted. But on the very next play, Schleister throws one to Trojans defensive back Herb Ward. A Trojan pass on fourth and one is knocked away in the end zone by Mike Guess. After Ohio State went three and out, the Trojans open scoring with a 41-yard Eric Hip field goal. It's good. The Buckeyes tried to come back on this long pass to Gary Williams. Gary Williams to the two-yard line. But on the first play of the second quarter, All-American linebacker Dennis Johnson stuffed Schleister. Then McDonald found Kevin the Bug Williams with a 53-yard scoring bomb to put the Trojans up seven. Touchdown. Ohio State kicked a field goal. SC fumbled the ball away on the next drive, and Schleister connected with Williams again to tie the score with 30 seconds to go until intermission. The battle of the bands in the Rose Bowl is always spectacular. Trojans bringing out the Doves. And the Buckeyes doing their traditional script Ohio with the tuba dotting the eye. In the third quarter, Ohio State took a three-point lead, and the Trojans drove to the six, but an offensive pass interference call in the end zone was called. Automatic touchback those days instead of a field goal try on the next play. Oh, and they'll turn the ball over on the 20-yard line. SC missed another field goal try in the early fourth. Ohio State added one to make it 16 to 10. Then the Trojans made some history on one of the greatest drives in Rose Bowl lore. And they get the ball with about 250 left in a two-minute drill, and, and their two-minute drill was give the ball to Charles, <laughs> and he kicked our butt, man. Well, I remember um, sitting on the sideline with the um, with the offensive lineman, and um, you know, and it was just um, uh, a silent. We know what we got to do. Uh, a look in the guy's eye. Heisman Trophy winner Charles White took the game over. First, a run of 32. Charlie White, he's running like he can sing to this one. 40, tackle from behind at midfield. Just happened um, to <laughs> find the, uh, the right crease, get through, bad tackling, and I'm on my way. 
then a 28-yard gallop. It's wide again. 45, 40, 35, 30. He's all the way to the 22. Charles White is over the 200-yard mark today. Oh, I know it's going. I know it. Um, you know, uh, the guys were, like I said, they were all jacked up, and uh, it was just the start of things. We knew that their their uh, defensive end, defensive uh, uh, linebackers, uh, outside linebackers, couldn't handle Anthony Munoz. Gentlemen, Charles White has set a new Rose Bowl record. 215 yards rushing breaks the record set by Bob Jeter, the Iowa star. When I got into the conference, the press conference, talked about, you know what you did today? I'm like, no, I don't know what I did, you know, but they, they told me that you accomplished your record um, for 200 some yards and I was just doing my job. Michael Hayes gave Charlie a breather and ran for seven. Marcus Allen, who would get a Heisman of his own two years later, was the blocking fullback for White on this game. Pretty good backfield. He got five. Then Charlie for three, for five, Another two. And if I would have went outside, would have scored. But I guess I wanted to do it um, very fashionable. White, touchdown! You could, as you can see, uh, the line came out, I mean, the uh, defensive line came off the ball and they were diving down. And that made me, by, by having them dive down and our linemen are pretty much on top of them like that. I mean, it was, it was clear sailing, just go over top, so. But I have to tell you about this. When I went over the top, I was looking at a bunch of bodies and stuff. Then when I finally ended and, you know, ended up on the ground and turned around, I saw a hundred yards straight ahead with no bodies in front of me. It kind of, kind of looked weird, you know, it was kind of, it's like, anyway. Eric Hip added the all important extra point. And the Trojans won it 17 to 16, and White kept right on running all the way to the locker room. Trojan head coach John Robinson on the field after the game with another Trojan acting as sideline announcer for the big game. So yeah, I'm down here with Coach John Robinson. Coach, the boys, they came back like champions. They call them the cardiac kids, and they certainly deserve that name today. Well, Charlie White and the whole football team, but Charlie White's performance in that last drive is phenomenal. It's been that way. All his career, he's the finest player I've ever I've ever been coached. But you got to look at this football game and say, there's no better show in the country. Both teams played great football. The Ohio State team, I thought, was super. I didn't think they'd ever let us in the end zone, and and I it was a great game all the way around. OJ. Well, Ohio State came in rated number one by one poll, and they certainly was deserving of that rating. What do you think SC should be rated now? Well, I don't know exactly. I I, I think I got to sit down and look at Alabama. For me, we should be rated number one. But a lot of people, there's probably two number one fo football teams in this country, and I think we're one of them. I'm sure Alabama's an outstanding team, too. But I can't think of anything. There's nothing else other than this football game for me. This was a great football game. God, uh, how lucky can a man be to be involved in something like this? Trojans win it, and despite the fact they were clearly the best team in the country at season's end, settled for the number two ranking. Sound familiar? Happy New Year, everybody, and fight on. I don't know if I ate some bad food or whatever. It was it was not a, a good sight, you know. The, you see me at the end of the at the end of the game. The first thing I want to do is run to the bathroom because I had to go do number two. So.